We are getting news reports that according to internal sources, Elon Musk had a company-wide call with Tesla employees and on the call, he said Tesla will produce 1 million vehicles in 2021, but 2022 should be even better year for Tesla. Let's take a look at those uh, information and the possibilities in more details, friends. Welcome back, everyone. This is Armin Haryan from TorqueNews.com. If you are here the first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla and electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next tesla coverage and if you find this report informative please like it and give us thumbs up that will help to speed up the transition to ev uh, uh, by showing it to more people so According to leaks, Elon Musk held a company-wide call with Tesla employees and on the call he said Tesla will produce 1 million vehicles in 2021, but the next year, the 2022, should be even a better year for Tesla. Friends, Tesla hasn't put out specific production and delivery guideline for the fiscal year 2021. Elon Musk has said on multiple occasions he plans for Tesla to grow production capacity by around 50% for the foreseeable future. However, for 2021, Tesla said the company was planning to grow production capacity by more than 50%, but Tesla didn't give an exact number for what the expected production capacity increase will be. Writing in the company's quarter for 2020 investor deck, Tesla said, quote, we are planning to grow our manufacturing capacity as quickly as possible. Over a multiple year horizon, we expect to achieve a 50% average annual growth in vehicle deliveries. End of the quote. And here is another quote. In some years, we may grow faster, which we expect to be the case in 2021. The rate of growth will depend on our equipment capacity, operational efficiency, and the capacity and stability of the supply chain. Uh, Red Tesla's production outlook in its entirety. 2021 but 100% growth but Tesla has the capacity and I'm going to tell you about that now however we might have more information on what Tesla meant by growing faster than 50% this year Sawyer Merritt a Tesla enthusiast and shareholder says he has heard from multiple sources and his sources has been reliable as Torque News has been following him. In, and so he has heard from multiple sources inside Tesla that Tesla CEO Elon Musk held a company-wide call with employees. And during that call, according to the sources of Sawyer, uh, Sawyer Merritt, Musk said, quote, Tesla could produce and deliver 1 million cars this year. If this comes true, it will be a 100% growth in Tesla's uh, production capacity. Actually, Tesla could produce and deliver 1 million cars this year. That was the end of the quote. And this is our opinion. If this comes true, uh, it will be a 100% growth in Tesla's production capacity. Notes Tensai Aregai at TorqueNews.com. Musk also added Tesla's Shanghai Gigafactory was expanding a lot and that 22, the year 2022, should be even better. These numbers might not be too surprising given Tesla already has said it has an installed annual production capacity of 1.05 million vehicles a year. That means 1,050,000 vehicles a year. That is 100,000 Model S and Model X, 500,000 Model 3 and Model Y in Fremont, California factory, and 450,000 Model 3 and Model Y in Giga Shanghai. However, installed capacity that Tesla has doesn't mean that's how many vehicles Tesla will produce. For example, Tesla is still ramping up Model Y production in Fremont. The company also just started producing Model Y in Giga Shanghai in December 2020, not to mention the Model S and Model X production line have basically been shut down since January. Retooling has probably finished by now and refreshed Model S and Model X should start rolling off the assembly line in meaningful numbers any day now. Still, do you think it's unlikely Tesla will hit the 1 million number using the installed capacity it already has? Tesla has a lot of new production capacity coming in second half of this year. I didn't mention about that, but you know, Tesla's Giga Berlin factory is expected to begin producing Model Y vehicles with 4680 batteries in July. Following that, Giga Texas should come online soon, um, maybe a few months later, because the production at Giga uh, construction is going really well at Giga Texas as well. Given all the new technologies coming with Tesla's fourth and fifth Giga factories, there is a chance 
chance that of produ uh, that chance the start of production could slip by few months maybe uh, therefore affecting delivery numbers of this year however if Tesla is able to quickly ramp up production in those facilities, there is a chance Tesla could even produce more than 1 million vehicles this year. Uh, whatever the final production numbers end up being, and even if Tesla doesn't end up exactly hitting the 1 million vehicle numbers, growing a complex manufacturing operations close to anywhere 100% a year is still truly mind-boggling and astonishing. Has any other automotive company in recent years done that? And if Tesla continues with its expansion and company will certainly meet its long-term goal of producing 20 million vehicles in the year by 2030. This would make Tesla the biggest automaker in the world currently. The biggest car manufacturers are Volkswagen and Toyota which produce around 10 million vehicles a year. So friends, what do you think? Um, will Tesla be able to produce 1 million vehicles and... Uh, by 2000 end of 2021 and how do you think 2022 will be and do you think giga berlin and giga texas will be up and running very soon uh, also what do you think about tesla's long-term goal of producing 20 million vehicles annually by 2030 that's 10 years from now let's uh, talk about this in the comments section below but i have another interesting news that i want to add here is that uh, elon musk on twitter has said that tesla cyber truck we have news about cyber truck which i reported this morning that that Cybertruck will not have any door handles. And uh, Tinsai Aragai at torquenews.com discusses some possible ways and options how to open the Cybertruck's door and what Tesla might do. So it was just yesterday, you know, at Torque News when we wrote an article discussing a note from Piper Sandler, a firm with a bullish stance on tesla stock and the price target of one thousand two hundred dollars pointing out why the cyber truck will be delayed um, that was the news about cyber truck but there is new update on cyber truck so the reason the analyst put forward was since the cyber truck incorporates so many new technologies it is at a high risk of production problems and production delays and now tesla ceo elon musk has given us one more first-of-a-kind feature. In a response to Twitter user Juban Mohammed, Musk said the Cybertruck will not have door handles. Elon did not elaborate on the reason behind removing the door handles, but one from the Cybertruck. But one possibility could be the difficulty of cutting into the 7X cold rolled stainless steel body. That makes sense. During the Cybertruck unveiling event back in 2019, Tesla demonstrated how the body bulletproof um, demonstrated the bulletproof body to a, a nine millimeter handgun remember that and if even if tesla is able to cut into the body to have an opening for the door handle it probably will not be the best thing for the strength of the door so if there won't be a door handle what are the possible ways to open the truck the simplest and most obvious one would be to use a smartphone to unlock the truck and couple that with self-presenting doors like Tesla already does in the Model X. And given Tesla's improving image processing software and ultrasonic sensors, the vehicle can sense if you are walking toward it or away from to decide whether to open or close the door. This implementation could also be um, coupled with a Model 3 and Model Y type key card or a key fob. Also on the new Roadster, Tesla added sensors on the B pillar and when you swipe the sensor with your fingers, the doors open up. This, even though a novel approach uh, is definitely doable, especially for Tesla, which has been building and selling vehicles with a self-presenting doors since 2015. One minor issue is with this is the cost and complexity uh, such as uh, of such a system will add to a vehicle that is supposed to start at $39,900. For a mass market vehicle saving every penny matters and Tesla might have to find savings in other parts of the truck to offset such a system. The Cybertruck seems to be Elon's most daring product so far and also semi-truck which I reported yesterday 
they with new updates on that and with all the new materials features and technologies coming with the truck it is looking more out of this world than it already does some of the new technologies coming with the cyber truck are the exoskeleton chassis 7x cold roll stainless but stainless steel body bulletproof glass 4680 battery cells with tables design tablets design and nickel cathode and silicon anode so friends what do you think about the cyber trucks door handles now it is worth noting that the absence of handles is a very unusual design solution that can be very functional on the one hand we are all used to fact to the fact that we have um, to open the car doors using a handle on the other hand most people have faced situations where our hands are occupied whether it be with bags a cup of coffee or a small child or something else that prevented opening the car door without hindrance writes eva fox in the tasmanian thus i think you know this may be a novel interesting approach to cyber truck uh, and maybe herald and usher a new area where the future cars will be without door handles and the car makers will find very new innovative ways to open car doors without a handle or key um, this is armin harian from torquenews.com please subscribe to our channel if you are here visiting first time if you haven't subscribed yet uh, for daily tests on electric vehicle news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next coverage later today and please if you found this report informative give us thumbs up like this video it will help to put it in front of more people and speed up the ev transition and help our environment have a great day god bless you everyone peace be with all of you see you soon in our next report